Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you our brand new feature called Subservers. And I'm going to show you every single thing that you need to know about it. So first of all, to get to Subservers, go to the left, and then here we can find Subservers. Then once you've gone into this menu, as you can see, we've got quite a few things here. Also, do note that Subservers are only available for premium and extreme plans. So if you're on budget and you do want to use this feature, then you will have to upgrade to premium or extreme. Another thing to note is that subservers are only supported with servers with more than 6GB of RAM. So if you have 6GB or more, then you'll be absolutely fine. But first of all, what actually is a subserver? Subservers allow you to take resources allocated to your plan and reuse them on multiple separate servers. This means that you can run more than one server on your single plan. And this means that you can spread your RAM and CPU across these servers. So on this page here, as you can see, it says you have used 0 out of 3 subservers. This number may be a bit different for you. If you have 6 to 7 gigabytes of RAM, you will have 3 subservers maximum. If you have 8 to 11 gigabytes of RAM, you'll be able to use 4 subservers. 12 to 16 gigabytes can use up to 6 servers. And 25 gigabytes can use up to 7. One more thing is that all plans come with a default amount of CPU resources based on the amount of memory purchased for the plan. So if you purchased 1 to 3 gigabytes of RAM, you'll get 1 thread, 4 to 5 will get 2 threads, 6 to 7 will get 3, 8 to 11 will get 4, 12 to 16 will get 6, and 25 will get 7 threads. You can also buy additional threads if you don't feel like upgrading your plan. So how do we create a subserver? First of all, you're going to want to click create server. Then you can put a server name. I've just named mine first. And then we can select our type. You can choose proxy, Minecraft, or bot. However, I'm going to choose Minecraft. And now that we have changed our type to Minecraft, as you can see, our CPU has changed to two threads and our memory has changed to two gigabytes. So as you can see in the CPU, I can dedicate up to two threads. And then for memory, we can select up to five. However, if you are on an extreme plan, the minimum requirements don't actually count, and you can set this to one gigabyte and also one thread. Now my server is six gigabytes. However, the maximum you'll be able to use in your sub servers will always be one thread and one gigabyte of RAM less than your plan actually has. This is to make sure that your parent server does have enough resources left over. This is actually shown by these two blue bars. The blue bars show how much of your resources are reserved for your parent server. So for this, I'm going to select two gigabytes of RAM and then click create. It will then give me this prompt, which then I'm going to click yes, do it. And as you can see, if we look down here, we now have a child service, which is our sub server. And as you can see, our server is no longer splittable. This is due to Minecraft sub servers requiring at least two threads. And our plan only allows us to give two threads to our sub servers. These blue bars show the reserved resources, meaning that the blue section actually can't be allocated to subservers. Now I'm going to show you how you can edit them. So at the bottom, if we come down to the pencil icon, we can then select that, and we can then select our options here. Now one thing you might notice is that you can't actually change the type of the subserver. In order to do that, you'd have to delete it and then make a new one. However, we can change the memory. So we can change the memory to up to five gigabytes, which is our limit as you can see right here. So we're going to change this to five gigabytes. And then at CPU, you can change this from two threads to one thread. We're going to keep it at two and then click save. It will then ask you if you want to proceed and we'll click let's go. So now we've used up all our possible resources. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.